Hello my friends, welcome to a new video. Today a comparison between the Fanatec Club Sport V3 pedals and the Moza CRP pedals. When it comes to the design, well this is something personal. I like both of them, I like the design of both. Uh, the Moza has a bit more uh, accent colors than the Fanatec, but both look very stylish to me. The CRP pedals were released in 2023 and the pedals from Fanatec already date from 2015. Both feature a three pedal setup with a very similar design at first sight. Both sets feature adjustable pedal faces and the clutch and accelerator pedal of the Mozart set can be moved one centimeter outwards. The pedals of the CRP set are angled almost in a 90 degree angle while the Fanatec pedals are more inclined backwards. The biggest difference between both designs is the single structure of the Club Sport pedals versus the modular setup of the CRP pedals. This means that the pedals are separated easily from the pedal plate and the pedal plate itself can also be stripped down. This would allow you to just take off the clutch pedal if you don't need it. There is no official way to uh, take off the clutch pedal with the Fanatec set. When it comes to connections, the Club Sport pedals feature an RJ12 and USB connection while Moza opted for just a USB connection for the CRP pedals. Something that I really like more on the Moza pedals is that you can easily attach them. So there are plenty of ways to attach them to your, uh, to your uh, uh, pedal plate. You can use it with the provided pedal plate of Moza or without them. You can just take the pedals and put them on, the, on your plate. Uh, you can use the arches that come with the, um, uh, with the pedals. And also the pedals uh, are put on the base plate and there's nothing sticking out from under it. This is something that I saw, for example, with the LC100 of Camus, uh, those pedals, that there was the uh, screws, bolts sticking out at the at the underside. This is not the case with the Moza pedal. So very, very uh, nice done of Moza. With Fanatec, well, the attachment is kept very simple. Sometimes it's a bit hard to attach them. Um, so I really need to say that uh, well, well done for Moza on this, uh, on this design. When it comes to build quality, both look very nice. They are made out of aluminium, most part. And uh, well, I can't say anything about this. However, uh, one remark for the Fanatec pedals, um, they use a very um, a slick um, brushed aluminium plate where you put your heels on. And this can cause scratches, uh, both uh, on, on the, the surface itself and at the edges. It can, it can, uh, it can, scratch very easily so that's something less it looks very nice when it's new very nice but over time i think uh, some scratches will appear on that this is not a problem with the moza however what i saw with the moza is when i got them they were a year old or something and they were re I, when you pushed the 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 pedals they were really squeaking now this was resolved with a bit of lithium grease on it that now they stop squeaking. However, something which still squeaks are the springs themselves. So um, the, the very thin springs that they use, uh, I don't think they are the best quality uh, that, that, they, that they could use on it. And those, uh, when you um, press in the, the clutch, the accelerator, it tends to squeak. The accelerator pedal feels for both comparable when it comes to smoothness. The resistance is handled with the, the Fanatec by exchanging the springs. Even with the black spring, I could have done with a bit more resistance. The resistance of the Moza pedals can be adjusted by replacing the spring and with the extra spacer to put tension on that spring, which allows for a more tuned resistance. While driving them, I had a small preference for the feeling of the Moza accelerator because of that added resistance. For the Club Sport set, the brake pedal resistance can be changed out of the box without any tools to adjust the travel of the pedal. For the brake, there are no other springs available. The travel remains quite large, even on the highest setting with the standard elastomers that are included. While absolutely no issue in games like BMNG, I can imagine that the hardness can be inadequate for people driving in racing games. For myself, while driving them, I find them adequate since I like a bit of a longer travel on my brake. The brake of the Moza can be adjusted by swapping springs or adding a different rubber on the back. I have the same remark for these pedals as I had with the Fanatec pedals. Don't expect them to be super hard even with the stiffest spring and elastomer installed. 
here, you can really appreciate that Moza offers the different elastomers as part of the package, while for Fanatec, it remains an option. I would like to say, however, that the adjusting of the pedal settings was a very unnerving task. The first time I tried to change the elastomer, I pulled the connector out and it was not easy to get it back on, so be prepared for some cursing when you need to adjust these pedals. I would say that during the driving sensation, both sets feel yeah, pretty much balanced. I had no real preference for either one when it came to braking. The clutch is quite different between both. Both have a multi-step feeling for the clutch to try and simulate the biting point. The Fanatec uses a levered system which feels very fluent. Apart from the spring, there are no other adjustments that can be done for the mechanism. The movement feels yeah, very fluent when you press it, but the biting point itself feels very light in comparison with the system used by Moza in the CRP pedals. The mechanism they use is more of a system with a roll down path towards the end of the travel to simulate the biting point. This design makes you feel the biting point of the clutch very clearly. The compression of the spring can also be adapted to further fine tune the length to where you reach the biting point. When I started out with this clutch uh, it felt a bit strange, but after a few days I got used to it and it was working pretty well. The only problem I had with it, the sound of the spring. When driving it, I preferred the Club Sport clutch over the Moza one. There is no question that the Moza is the more realistic system of both, but I just enjoyed the smoothness of the Fanatec more. When it comes to features, well, both have a lot of features, I think, for pedals. So with the V3 pedals, it comes with pedal extensions. You also have other pedals, so a bit more sporty pedals that you can um, add to them. Uh, another couple of springs that you can use, a bit um, uh, stronger springs, and also some lithium grease, which is very important, I think, uh, for maintaining your pedals. I do think uh, that it is nice that they add some lithium grease to it. And of course, something that I really appreciate are the vibration motors. They are very crude and not nearly as strong as I would like them to be, but they are included. And I think of all the pedal sets out there that they are the only set that have those standard included. When I look at the CRP pedals, well, you have there the brake, three different uh, sorts of brake rubbers, a brake, another brake spring, and also a few other springs that you can use to stiffen up uh, the, the, the entire pedal a bit. When it comes to the load cell, we have a 90 kilogram load cell in the Fanatec pedals. We have a 200 kilogram load cell in the CRP pedals. Now this is double, um, but I have to say honestly that I, I didn't notice that much of a difference between it. So uh, I can't I can't tell you which one is best and if this is really mandatory to, to have really 200 kilograms of load cell in it. So yeah, that's. Uh, a bit of a thing that I'm like, mm, okay, the, the, I would say going on the number, the CRP pedals are better, but I can't tell you if there is much of a difference because yeah, I simply didn't notice a difference. When it comes to options, well, there is also a big difference. Huh? You have the Fanatec pedals that, uh, that have a brake damper and a performance kit. Um, I tested the performance kit and it is it is really a handy option to have. So what it does, it is ma it makes the brake a bit stiffer uh, and adds a, a bit of uh, harder elastomers that you can put in the brake. Um, so yeah, it's a very, very handy option to have. On the other hand, the CRP pedals, they already have the extra um, elastomers included uh, in, in the package. So that's, that's good of, uh, of, of, of Moza. However, they don't have any other options available for these pedals. So price and availability, we have the Fanatec pedals that come in at 400 euro and we have the uh, CRP pedals that come in at 500 euro. Fanatec sells the pedals via their official Fanatec website and Moza also via their website, but also via the dealer. So perhaps at certain uh, areas they can be had a little cheaper too. The compatibility is very important. The CRP pedals can only be connected via USB. This basically means that they cannot be connected directly to the wheelbase and can only be used on the PC platform, not console. Which is a bit weird since they do have a wheelbase now that is compatible with the Xbox platform. 
if we look at the Fanatec, the Fanatec are compatible with the PlayStation platform and Xbox platform if you connect them directly to the base, which is possible. And this makes the Fanatec V3 pedals uh, the best pedals that you can have natively um, on the PlayStation and the Xbox platform. So a conclusion. I can't shake myself of the feeling that the Moza pedals are overpriced here. The 100 euro extra doesn't really bring a lot of extra over the Fanatec pedals. Sure, they are well constructed when it comes to design and modularity and with the inclusion of the different brake elastomers they are a pretty darn good set. But then I look at the Fanatec Club Sport pedals, the additional sporty pedals, console compatibility, haptic tumblers and even the added lithium grease for 100 euro less. Package-wise, it is Fanatec that holds the candle in my opinion. While the CRP pedals offer a good driving experience and perhaps even a more realistic feeling one than the Fanatec, this is only marginally and here also I cannot say that the difference between both is worth 100 euro. The Fanatec Club Sport V3 pedals are those that I prefer to use for my personal driving entertainment of all the pedals I tested so far. A final remark would be that although both sets are certainly an addition to simulator driving, that for racing, and especially where stiff and precise braking is very important, there are better and sometimes even cheaper alternatives out there. Thank you all for watching, I hope you had something from this video. Leave a like if you did, subscribe if you want to see more videos, and I will see you all next video. Bye bye.